Product research gets boring, but that's why you need to have a lot of different methods so you can rotate upon them and keep yourself entertained and also learn a lot. Today's method is pretty fun, and actually it's one of my favorite methods to see what other big brands out there are doing so that I'm able to take from them and learn. You're also able to spy on them and take their new products and test them out yourself. And if they're crushing it with a lot of new products, then you should be too. Check it out in this vid. All right, as always, we're announcing the winner of last video's free 30 minute consulting call. If you wanna get yourself involved and try to win this consulting call, all you have to do is drop a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll pick at random who the winner is. All right, so the winner of last video's is DJ Raz. Hit me up, uh, send me a DM on IG, it's right here, and we will schedule a time to get to know each other, and I'll help you with whatever it is you want me to help you with, whether it's your store, finding products, anything you wanna talk about, you got 30 minutes of my time, and I got you with whatever advice you need now guys this goes for everyone and anyone just drop a comment or send me a dm i'm here to help i'm still pretty new to youtube so i'm willing and able and i have time to help you guys out so use my time while i have it i'm here to help guys all right guys i'm gonna jump right in and make this video very quick if you want to have your phone constantly buzzing every single second of the day with sales non-stop then you got to do some solid product research but you also need to do some solid brand research and this method will help you with that so let's jump right in we're going to go to myip.ms and essentially what we're doing is we're going on to shopify's ip address and we're seeing all the uh sites that are tied to this ip address so if a store was made with shopify uh, platform and has used shopify as a domain provider then it will be listed on this site and therefore you're able to see with global ranking the number one stores all the way to the lowest rated stores uh, on the Shopify platform. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna type this IP address on the top of it on the search bar and press who is a uh, lookup and it will search for Shopify's IP and pop up. That's, that's their IP, I'll put it in the description below so you guys don't have to type it out. Okay, so let's just scroll down a little bit and we're gonna go down to this section right here where it says known websites on IP, uh, Shopify's IP. So then we're gonna click on view all records. Now, let me just briefly go over what's going on here, right? So we're looking at a filter. This is the filter. You can you can adjust it as you please, and we'll, I'll show you how to do some filters that are pretty useful as well to, in, during your search. But to begin with, it's gonna show you the number one rated sites globally uh, on Shopify's platform. So as you can see, this is the number one site uh, that is on Shopify's domain platform. All right, so you can just check it out real quick. This is what's getting a lot of traffic uh, on a global scale. Uh, and there are some bigger sites out there like VQ, VQ Fitness. I'm sure you guys have probably heard about them. Uh, there's a lot of uh, bodybuilders and, and fitness uh, models who uh, promote this this brand. A lot of IG models promote this brand and they're absolutely crushing it. So it's like Gymshark kind of, right? They're doing great. Gymshark used to be here, but I believe Gymshark actually switched their domains and therefore they are no longer here or else they would have been on the front page right, right out here. <clears throat> All Birds is another great site. You can definitely check out. <clears throat> They've been branding it like crazy. They have a lot of money going into this website and they have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of visitors per month. As you can see, they were peaking at 2.23 million during the holidays and they're absolutely been crushing it. So uh, branding is very important. Learn from these big brands, right? Because eventually you're gonna become them. That's the goal, right? You wanna be one of these huge brands that have venture capitalists throwing millions of dollars at you to pump up the brand and get a get a stake of your of, of the investment, right? So that's that's the idea. You want to eventually be someone who's managing a huge company like this that will eventually have a ton of people coming at them, throwing you money to be part of your company, be part of your be, be an investment uh, asset to your company, right? So, all right. So these big brands are, are good and all, and it's cool to learn from them. But of course, we want to look at products. We want to find stuff that are actually um, uh, drop shippable, right? So something that we can actually make our own brands with. We don't. We can't necessarily compete with VQ Fitness right now. You might be new, you might not be up at that stage, otherwise you won't, you won't be watching this video. Uh, but it's good to know and it's good to dream. So let's start with filters, right? So we're gonna filter it down so that we're able to find some smaller sites, right? So the first thing we wanna do is uh, actually, we can use the site popular ranking to actually rank it so that it's it's ranked from 100,000 and above ranking. So this way it'll show us things that are not as popular as these big, big websites. Uh, but what we're gonna do is actually filter by popularity and set it to 5,000 to 15,000 per day. And that's what I like to do, generally speaking. Um, and I'll definitely switch it up because you'll you'll exhaust yourself. There's so many different, look at how many there are. There's 190,000 different sites that you can check out. So obviously it'll get a little bit exhausting. So have this intact with the IP address uh, and then have, and then put this down real quick and then click search. 
Okay, boom, there you go. So now it's already filtering, it's already sorting it by the number one uh, rated sites uh, based on this criteria, right? 5,000 to 15,000 visitors per day. My stores get 12,000 to 15,000, my best performing stores. So, but they're not on here because it's not a domain, it's not using uh, Shopify as a domain. Uh, and that's why I recommended in previous videos not to do that. Uh, instead use Namecheap or GoDaddy as a domain provider. Uh, now let's let's uh, let's actually go a little bit further down. I don't want to show some things that are really really branded. Uh, I want to show some stuff that is just getting into um, the space. That's not that's not that huge. So I'm just gonna hold Control and I'm gonna left click on this little go to website icon, and I'm gonna open up. Let's say up until 460, and then I'm gonna quickly go through them and I'm gonna use my eye. I already know what it looks like. I already know what a dropshipping store looks like. I already know what a brand looks like. I'm gonna skip through the brands for the sake of this video, although I do recommend checking out some of these brands because the way that they branded their website is very important. You can learn a lot from their marketing. So, okay, this is a dope, 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 dope store. Uh, just like the clean, the, like this picture itself is awesome, right? It just looks sick. You can learn a lot from these kind of stores. Their branding is very um, uh, congruent. It's all throughout the whole website and their shop is also really clean and really nice. So, but besides this, let's, let's not get deep into a, a branded store like that. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is another uh, kind of branded store. Let's avoid that. Uh, clothing stores. I don't want to show you too many clothing stores because there's, you know, it's kind of it's kind of based on what your brand is and uh, not dropshipping. Okay, this store is kind of cool. It actually it looks like a home decor store, but for like antiques, maybe for older people, uh, and it's pretty dope actually. So what we're gonna do with this store that we find that that you might have an interest in, whether it's in a niche or it's a drop or one product store, or it is a general store. Uh, you want to use Koala Inspector. Now, there's a free version available, I believe, and I'm not sure if it provides you uh, this tool, but you want to click on products if you do have it. Otherwise, it's $8 a month. Otherwise, I'll show you a free way of doing this if you can't, if you don't have this uh, tool available. If you want it, just Google it. I have another video on this. The previous video showed you how to use this tool, but we're just going to click on products and we're going to click on new products. Okay, now you can see all the new products that they've listed, uh, so you can try to copy and paste from them and uh, take what you know could be a winner. But we want to go to best sellers and just get an idea of what a good winning product looks like that's high ticket over here. So let's check it out. So this is not being sold. I think, uh, yeah, this is not US currency, but look, this is just a cool product, right? And clearly there's some kind of demand for it because they're number one product and they have, um, okay, I guess they don't have a, <clears throat> they're not linked to similar web because they're foreign, I think. But all right, let's let's skip this brand. Uh, but they do have a lot, a lot of cool stuff that you could take from. I'm not sure if you can find a lot of this on AliExpress, so I'm gonna skip it real quick. But it's a good idea to just look through what they're selling and what what's being sold um, best. Okay, here's another uh, furniture store. Again, this is another high ticket kind of store. Uh, you can get an idea of what good products look like here. All right, so let's just quickly do products, new products. You can see. Okay, you can see best fellow products here again. And again, this is uh, not U.S. currency. Sorry. So let me let me go out of that. Rates. No, we're not interested in shoes. Okay, this is cool. Um, they, these are, wow, these are high ticket rings, man. Wow. And they're all on AliExpress. I'll tell you that right now. So this is a good store to look at right now. If you want to build a similar store based on jewelry or based on these kind of rings, you definitely could. Look at the layout. Look at the way the website looks. It's very unique to this product because the products are very like uh, neon. So black website goes with it very well. And so we're gonna click on Qual Inspector. And I'm gonna show you the free version real quick uh, right after I show you this. So we go to best sellers. Okay, boom. So their bestsellers are actually not listed, but let's see if we use another method to get to the bestsellers. So what you want to do is you want to type in uh, this. I'm going to put it in the description as well. I'm gonna, you want to type this in into the ending of the website and you press enter and boom. There you go. Qual Inspector couldn't find this, but we could find this by, by typing in that uh, URL. So it's a URL hack. You just throw this into the end of the uh, the website after the dot com and it'll show you the best selling products. Of course, the cheapest one that is probably being upsold on every single item is probably going to be the best selling one. So we'll ignore that. But the, the second one is definitely what, what's bringing in the money. Right. So this is this product itself. This is a good design. So if you have stores that are just busting out a bunch of designs and you want to keep up with the trends, you can definitely do best selling. But I would also recommend checking out what they're what they're testing, right? Because what they're testing is, is a ton of stuff, right? Let's see when they, a day ago was when they last published their, their, their last item that they're testing, right? So you could see here what kind of items they're testing and wow, they have quite a bit of, uh, they're pretty expensive. Look at this stuff, man. It's beautiful, but it's pretty expensive uh, considering that, you know, these things are dollars, pen, dollars in the, on, on AliExpress, you know, it's, it's just so cheap, but the branding is what brings it to thousands, right? Just like Gucci, just like Louie, just like Fendi, Prada, all that good stuff. They have awesome branding and that's why they're doing great. That's why they're able to sell stuff for 300,000 times, the, you know, the cost. Like 
it's insane what branding does. So I want you guys to take from that and learn from that, right? So this store is absolutely killer. Um, you could definitely build a similar store based off of this, but of course you have to get into the branding, copy and paste what they're doing, just change up things, maybe change up the colors a little bit, the scheme of the, uh, of the website just a bit. Even the name is not that crazy. Just, you know, Patrick, I can't even, read. Patrick Ad Air Designs, what? But they're, they're crushing it, let's see. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, they're doing great. They're doing fine. They're doing just, just as good as Artiture and their products are way, way more expensive than Artiture. So let's see. $4,000 is the highest sold product on their website. That's insane. That's insane, guys. Average price is $332. They're doing awesome, guys. Amazing, amazing margins. All right, guys, and that's how you do it. So you just want to rotate between your product research methods because you don't want to constantly stick to one. You get bored, you get tired out, and you want to always actually do your best to look at what the market looks like, what new big stores, new branded big stores look like. So, and there's a ton of them out there. So don't just look at the smaller stores, look at those on the front page of this product research method, on the second page, on the third page, get inspiration, get an idea of what a brand, a legit brand might look like, especially when you're ready to move on from the general store phase. If you're not ready to move on from the general store phase, then keep pushing to find products that are just something that you could test. You don't necessarily have to do this method, but it's something to get a good idea of what a big dream looks like, a big brand, a big market looks like. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the feedback. As always, love the DMs, love the comments. Just keep it coming my way. Um, you know, we're getting, we're, we're really blowing up out here. It's awesome. We only, we're only at about like 330 subscribers right now, but we get a ton of comments and a ton of likes. So thank you so much, guys. I'm really grateful for it. So let's keep pushing and let's see what this channel can get up to by the end of the year. I wouldn't be surprised if we get about 10,000 subscribers. Let's keep pushing it, guys. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck. Keep grinding, keep hustling, and never, ever, ever give up, y'all. Peace.